Good time. Tell me, how are you feeling tonight? Like, uh, this isn't alliance. This is people coming together. Yeah, wow. That was really moving. That was well done. He'd love, he'd love, he would love the tribal council might have like, tribal council's like a big fishing net. We're all the, the fish involved swimming upstream trying to fight the current. Uh, and he's really one of the ultimate guys left, so you cannot let get to the final three. You're in big, or the final two, I guess, this season. Mm-hmm. You can't let him get to the final. He's the closest. He gets will, in the room. Okay. Yeah. You will all right. Close. Let's go to the votes. First vote, Marsha. Whew. Lucille. That's one vote, Marsha. One vote, Lucille. Lucille, that's two votes wow. Lucille. One vote Marsha. Marsha! It's for Ty. It's come this from? Is two. This is, this is the most exciting <laughs> vote of the season. <laughs> Lucille! That's three votes Lucille. <laughs> two votes Marsha. One vote last. Could be a tie? Lucille Blue wow. fell out of the wow. line side. Oh. Omar is not happy. How did this happen? Omar is happy. Omar is ecstatic. This is, they left well, on that on the day. Wow. On the day. They Walter White the day. played his idol on her at the last tribal council. Ultimately, uh, that she did not have enough votes to go home, correct? I think only two votes in that last tribal council, but yeah. tonight is the night. Uh, interestingly, <laughs> Don Draper was one of the votes for Marsha Brady, but here's Elisa Turtle voting for Lucille. Uh, and uh, Lucille huh. also voted for Marsha Brady, and then uh, Marsha Brady voted for Lucille, Omar voted for Lucille, and then even Walter White, who played an idol on Lucille at the last tribal council, really threw her off the scent, blindsides her at this tribal council. The fun thing is, Lucille, you know, she's all about the Apple one thing, so she came in with this giant fur mm-hmm. coat. And Marsha had been feeling so cold at night, they only put her in a bikini because they wanted the shots. And so she helped organize this vote against Lucille, and she asked her, you know, can you give me this jacket? And Lucille said, uh, I will understand the question and I won't respond to it. She walked away. <laughs> All right. Uh, we are headed to the merge, believe it or not, here in this uh, Survivor. What are we calling this? Survivor, uh, this is Insider Top 50? <laughs> <laughs> this is Insider Presents Survivor Top TV Characters. Okay. All right. So uh, here we go see. to the big merge here. And let's uh, let's talk about who is here at the merge. Uh, Twelve people headed into uh, this merge. Uh, Don uh-huh. Draper, Lisa Turtle, Marsha Brady, Omar, mm. and Walter White uh, are the people coming in from the new Rock Tribe. And from the new Mike Bloom Tribe, Daenerys, I have talked about her in a minute, uh, Elaine Dennis, Homer Simpson, Larry David, Leslie Nope, Lucy <laughs> Ricardo, and Oscar the Grouch. And uh, we are headed to our uh, big Survivor Merge. And uh, the Survivor Merge Feast is uh, sponsored by one of our uh, great sponsors. And those are the people at Graze.com. It's a merge feast provided by... Graze.com. What is Graze.com, you might ask? A snack subscription service that delivers delicious, unique snacks to your work or home. They hard to get a quick snack. They have a vast variety of over 100 unique snack creations. That means it's always something new and different to try. Like snickerdoodle dip with uh, cinnamon pretzel sticks. Only 150 calories. I like that. And turtle pie. Uh, not Lisa turtle pie. With raw cans. Vanilla pumpkin seeds, salted oh, caramel, milk chocolate, and mini cocoa cookies. Oh, uh, all great stuff. And this is what mm-hmm. they're going to do. When you sign up and browse and rate the snacks, it helps them pick out a personalized box to suit your preferences. Each snack is also approved by an in-house nutritionist and has no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. So you can feel good about what you're snacking on. So go to graze.com. That's mm-hmm. G-R-A-Z-E. Dot com now to get a free trial box that includes four of the top rated and most delicious snacks. Use the special code Rob at Graze.com with the promo code Rob for your free box. Okay, no neutral box here in this season. We're not doing worlds apart. It's time to uh, see what's going on here at the merge, Mike. I'm surprised that, you know, I feel bad that we didn't pick the Gray's Anatomy Envoy after hearing that Gray's was sponsoring this. Yes. Actually, uh, the uh, I said that we were headed to the merge here, but is it because uh, that somebody quit here in the real co- in the real Kagiyan, uh episode Ooh. seven? So I think that we actually uh, had a uh, I think they had the merge feast early. <laughs> okay, so they decided to, huh. 
Huh. A little like millennials versus Gen X at Summit, yeah, where they summit. Got to sort of come back together. But then Jeff surprised everyone by saying, "You're breaking back oh, into your God. dream." Right. So the confusion here is because <laughs> Lindsay quit in Survivor Kageyama, and two people go home welcome. in one episode, and so they uh, basically are going to give us an extra vote here uh, with these uh, tribes. We jumped the gun a little bit, but uh, well, that, that's two more two more ch- challenges for the Mike Bloom tribe to win. Maybe <laughs> jumped Omar's gun here a little bit. All right. Uh, <laughs> All right, so uh, back at the new Rob tribe, Marsha Brady, Omar, and Walter White who put the hit out on Lucia last night. They are an alliance uh, level four strength. Meanwhile, uh, over at the new Mike Bloom tribe, we still have Daenerys and Leslie. No, Elaine and Oscar the Grouch. Elaine is uh, used to dealing with grouches, so she is, uh, she is also more into the alliance than Oscar. She is, yeah. yeah. Uh, and Homer Simpson and Lucy Ricardo are uh, working together as well. At least on a level alliance. Okay. Here we go. Reward challenge. And finally, the Rob tribe gets off the shine to win the reward. Steak, sausage, vegetables, condiments, and wine for the reward. Uh, they won wine after they got rid of Lucille. Yeah, especially since the other two women on the tribe were on the way. They didn't want to bring in this little right? Uh, out of the screen, probably uh, Don Draper, the only good drinker of the group. Yeah. And that's true. I mean, Walter White drinks a little bit. Yeah, Walter White not a drink. So Walter White getting a little tipsy once at a dinner party. Blue, blue slips. Okay. Whew. All right. All right. Then, uh, let's go to our immunity challenge, and guess what? The Mike Blue <coughs> Tribe has oh, won man. immunity again. A clean sweep here mm-hmm. after the swap. Three immunity wins in mm-hmm. a row, sending the new Rob Tribe <sighs> back to the Tribal Council. And with that alliance of three original Mike Bloom people, it looks like this could be maybe curtains for Don Draper or Lisa Turtle tonight. Yeah, some might say online at the time, like, oh, is this like the, uh, the splitting apart of the Mike Bloom tribe? But it could just be a case where they decided, okay, we all don't like Lucille, okay. let's go together, and they're, they're stronger because of that. Okay, and just like that, we see Marsha Brady and Walter White have a major fight. Wow. Well, I mean, Walter might have tried to use his fatherly ways uh, to sort of, like, <laughs> discipline Marsha for the way she was behaving around camp, mm-hmm. and she was not having it. Yes, he had some uh, advice yeah. about uh, having a healthy breakfast. He was like, yeah, he's not like that. <laughs> for my stepdad. <laughs> Two or Okay, five. let's go to see what's going on over mm-hmm. on uh, New Mike Bloom Beach. And Oscar the Grouch and Larry the David have a major <laughs> fight as well. Akiva, we should have expected this. Yeah, I don't even know what that fight looks like, but it sounds great. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go to Tribal Council number seven. We'll see if the Walter White and Marsha Brady fight could potentially change anything up. Uh, Mike, is it possible that Walter White was horsing around throwing the football around the camp and then carelessly hit Marsha Brady in the face? Yeah, she might actually have to get meta back. Uh, go see Dr. Joe, the, I don't know, I guess, uh, who's the, plastic surgeon TV character. The kid, the one of the guys from Nip Tuck is actually the resident the resident uh, medical uh, expert on Survivor. I think it's Tarzan from Survivor One World. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> plastic surgeon on standby. Okay. All right. Uh, let's uh, no immunity idols, right? Nope, they're all done for the pre-merge. Okay. Yeah. Don and Lisa really are gonna regret having no immunity idols right now, I think. Okay. All right, let's get to the votes. First vote, Lisa Turtle. That's one vote Lisa. Second vote, Lisa Turtle. Marsha. That's two votes, Lisa. One vote, Marsha. Lisa Turtle, the tribe has spoken. She had a good run. Big pre-merge character here, Lisa Turtle. Yeah, a lot of screen time. She wasn't supposed to be here. She was sort of a last-minute cast member because someone else dropped out, and uh, (laughs) she got the nod. I think she's got to be happy with this. Mm. Uh, Best survivor, Lisa? (laughs) Oh, did she get uh, the Lisa Kiefer Award now, the Lisa Turtle Award? No, well, the Lisa Kiefer Award is for the U.S. Uh, most incredible. Incredible. It's a large surprise that we didn't have Blair from the past one <laughs> on this season. Oh, yeah. She didn't make the cut. She didn't make the list. Okay. Yeah. Uh, boy, I got to ask this question. What are some of these uh, really smart people like Marsha Brady and, and Omar and Walter White thinking, bringing Don Draper to the merge? And yeah, crazy. I, I think Don Traper, like, sold them a bill of goods. He said, like, look, I'm with you to the end. There's only three of us from the Rob tribe. We're, we're basically useless in the game. I can bring over Daenerys and we'll make a super group. Whether or not he holds true to that is one thing, but I think they just got bunkoed by him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so 
Meanwhile, in pre-swap, uh, we saw three people from the Rock Tribe go home. Post-swap, three tribal councils, uh, no members of the Rock Tribe uh, went home and ended up being uh, two Akivas uh. and a Mike Bloom who go out post-swap pre-merge. Okay. Uh, Finally, okay. where am I supposed let's to go? get to the merch feast. Now, they've already eaten a delicious merch feast sponsored by Grace.com, so we don't have to worry about that. Now, here come <laughs> the Rock Tribe who ended up uh, hmm. in true... Malolo fashion, uh, ended up going to six of the seven tribal councils <laughs> for the murder. Wow! <laughs> Wearing the orange box. It's usually, it's usually not that, it's usually not that, like, one-sided in print. <laughs> they were cursed. Scared, like... they, were, they were cursed. Uh, okay. So, it's Don Draper, uh, Marsha Brady, no. Omar, no, yeah. Walter White coming in uh, mm -hmm. to this merge at 11 uh, with Daenerys, Elaine, Homer Simpson, Larry David, Leslie Nope, Lucy Ricardo, and Oscar at the garage. Uh, Eve, how are you feeling yeah. at the merge? I mean, I think the the three Mike guys from from the the uh, Rob tribe, Walter White, Omar Lill, and Marsha Brady, are really formidable right now. Mm. I think that's really who everyone has to have their eye on. Because <sighs> the, like if Don Draper could sort of like wrangle those guys up, that could be a nightmare. Yeah, and now. How many original Mike Bloom people are still in the game? Five? I yeah, think it's five. five three, three. Yeah, five. <coughs> three, three, or five, four, three. Uh, like there's three, 12 three. left, right? Yeah, 11. Oh, that I was 11. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, five. I'll keep this right. Five, three, three. So theoretically, we could yeah. see, uh, you know, much like Survivor Triple H, we could see the Rob hmm. and Akiva members come together to mm -hmm. vote out the Mike Bloom tribe members. They would have the numbers, but knowing how wily Don uh. Draper is in particular and how detested Larry David is, we'll see if that happens. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. All right. Uh, let's talk about uh, the merge. Oh, and wait. The merge tribe is the R-A-A-N-A-P uh, tribe. There we go. For That is the merge tribe name, and they are wearing the black buffs. Okay. Uh, let's the orphan black buffs. Here we go. All right. Uh, let's talk about our alliances. Uh, we have the original Rob tribe uh, back together. Level 7 alliance. Uh, we have from the original Mike Bloom tribe. Uh, we have uh, Lucy Ricardo and Walter White at a level three. Uh, also, we have Walter White, Omar, and Marsha Brady, only a level four, even though they uh, voted together on a couple votes of the new Rob tribe. Uh, we have Daenerys Targaryen and Leslie Nope, they have a level five alliance. Uh, Elaine and Oscar, level four alliance. Uh, Homer Simpson and Lucy Ricardo with a uh, slight alliance. Homer, I think, has been the most under the radar guy of anybody. Purple who's Homer. The game. We've heard yes. nothing from Homer. Very surprising, considering that like we might have gotten jerk ass Homer, where he's a complete <laughs> loudmouth. But I think when you're on the tribe with like Larry, David, and Oscar, the crowd, you get a bit overshadowed when it comes to uh, air time. There's a group representing the original Akiva trial: Elaine, Larry, David, and Oscar the Grouch with a level five alliance. Uh, and then there's the new uh, Mike or the original Mike tribe alliance. Is level four, uh, and then there's uh, you know basically we're everybody has a, a slight alliance with somebody at this point. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Immunity challenge. First immunity challenge win of the season goes to Leslie Nope. Wow, that makes sense considering uh, that one episode when she had to do the uh, the when she had to like do a stalemate in the city council because uh, she had to filibuster and she stayed up all night. Like she's gonna be a beast in these immunity challenges. Okay, so Leslie Nope. Wins individual immunity. Cannot vote for Leslie. No, let's go back to the beach and see what's going on. Neris has found the idol with special powers. Uh, Mike, is this the Tyler Perry idol? Yes, Maester Perry has crafted this idol, and now Daenerys, believe it or not, has otherworldly powers that nobody else does. Okay, so a Tyler Perry okay. idol for Daenerys, which means that for the uninitiated, if she gets voted out with that idol in her possession, uh, she can use it after the votes are read. If you're thinking to yourself, wow, that sounds way too powerful. Uh, you're right. <laughs> well, she has a lot of power. She has a lot of power. Okay. Uh, <laughs> she is the, uh, the, the princess who was promised. All right. Uh, the queen stays queen. Right. So the Khaleesi stays Khaleesi. Now, here we go. Uh, no, uh, the regular idol has not been found, but uh, Oscar the Grouch and Lucille Ball, uh, Lucy Ricardo, have a major fight. Wow. Fine. Hmm. Or do you think they're doing it for TV time? <laughs> I don't know. Well, well Lucy planned, wanted to go play at the club, but Ricky let Oscar perform instead, and so she's pretty furious about that. Okay, so tribal council number one after the merge. Mike, who do you think could go home? 
This is going to be a big old mess. Mm. Uh, I'm going to say that the Mike Bloom tribe is going to stick together. I think they're going to get Don, Leslie, and uh, and uh, Daenerys on board. I feel like we're possibly looking at a Larry David merge boot. Larry David merge boot, Keith. Is that a possibility? Know. I really hope not, but I think he might be right. I think uh, unless our three somehow merge together, band right. together, and, and start going after Mike's, we're in big trouble. Merge vote. Always uh, exciting. Eleven votes will be cast tonight. Okay. Uh, Daenerys has the idol with special powers, but we'll see if if she gets voted out, if she uses it. Castaways all vote. First vote, Homer Simpson. Go! Oh. Second vote, Don Draper. One vote Homer, oh. one vote Don. Homer Simpson. Interesting. Daenerys Targaryen. That's oh, two votes Homer. All over the place. <laughs> one vote Don Draper. One vote Daenerys Targaryen. Don Draper. That's two votes Homer. Two votes Don. One vote Daenerys. Homer Simpson. That's three for Homer. Two for Don. One for Daenerys. Don Draper. That's three votes Homer. Three votes Don Draper. One vote Daenerys. Daenerys Targaryen. <laughs> it's three, three, two. Don Draper, that's four oh. votes Don, three votes Homer, two votes Daenerys, Don Draper, Don Draper, the tribe has wow. spoken. Very smart vote on their part. They went after the right person. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but now, we, but now he's on the jury. <laughs> oh, that's why. You know he's been able to talk <laughs> to the jury. The jury. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Mayor Ponderosa. Okay, Mayor Ponderosa. <sighs> Let's talk about how it all went down. So we saw Daenerys and Don Draper voting for Homer Simpson. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, then Elaine, <sighs> Homer, Larry David. So the Akivas uh, are, are joined up. Yeah, the, the Akivas joined up with the Mikes, it looks like. Yes. Uh, Leslie, nope, though. She jumped ship and, jo and voted for Homer. <laughs> she, was with, uh, she was with Don and Daenerys. Ooh, this is getting confusing. Yeah, uh, okay, all right. Sorry. Uh, Leslie Nope voted for, for Homer Simpson. Uh, and so it does. Is that what happened here? With Omar voted for Daenerys. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why Oscar the Grouch is voting for Don Draper either. Mm. I think it's because all the. Uh, it looks like we have a new Mike and Akiva alliance against all the Robs. And Walter White also threw a random vote for Daenerys. So Omar and Walter mm. White. Had I guess another different plan. I guess they were fearing an idle play on Don, so they wanted to throw. Maybe they split the vote here. Right? Is that what happened? Yeah, I mean, these are two of the smartest guys we have in the cast, so I guess that would make sense. Okay, so Don Draper is out. Only Daenerys and Leslie Nope remain from the original Rob tribe. All right, here we go. Final ten. Uh, let's get to uh, the alliances uh, at this hour. I think we're all pretty familiar with uh, what's going on here. Let's get to our reward challenge. And so we see this group of five win a reward to the Outback Steakhouse. It is going to oh, be... Oh, wait, how? That's such a shame that Michael Scott's already gone. They would have Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> no, that would have been Chili's or Applebee's. That's true. Okay. Okay. No, there's Outback. I think, isn't there an Outback uh, situation in, in the office? Oh, I think it's, I think it's a Meredith, like, uh, like, sells herself out to get, uh, to get, like, Outback Steakhouse gift cards or something. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, so let me, uh, let's talk about what's going on here with, uh, with this group that ultimately is going to go to the Outback. It's Daenerys Targaryen, it is Elaine Bennis, it is Omar, it is Leslie, and it is also Mr. Walter White. <laughs> They're going to Outback Steakhouse. I think Elaine is going to consistently do, like, the dingo at your baby routine to all the servers at Outback. Your baby, so the pi pineapple Rita's for all, okay. Uh, let's go to our immunity challenge, and the winner of individual immunity is Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> it makes sense, because this isn't a challenge you just where you stand on the perch, like, yeah. he's totally set for this one. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. We all stand a challenge beast, Oscar the Grouch. Yes, he's the new Ozzy. Yeah, Oz yeah, Ozzy the Grouch. Yes, Ozzy. Oscar the Grouch. Season five for Oz Ozzy. Yes, okay, alright, let's go back to camp and talk about what's going on. Uh, Daenerys has the, the Tyler Perry idol. Walter White has found the regular wow. item. Wow, two for two for Mr. White here. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> good on... Of course a man would find both fake idols. <laughs> fake idols? Producer. Produce, um, well, this is a fake. I mean, like, uh, uh, but the producers are furious mm -hmm. that Daenerys has the idol. Let's be fair. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we have <laughs> a new Mike Bloom tribe alliance, okay. uh, which is seven people. They have all the power. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is Daenerys Targaryen, Blaine Dennis, Homer Simpson, Larry David, Leslie Nope, 
Lucy hmm. Ricardo, Oscar the Grouch, the group that won all of those immunity challenges, that they that they uh, threw Don Draper under the bus, less, uh, and now they are uh, stuck together. They're working together. So Daenerys yeah, did vote for Don Draper. But. but it's a very strong alliance, and so maybe uh, Daenerys sort of like kowtowed back to them and said, like, look, I know I, I did bad getting in bed with Don, metaphorically, like, we worked so well in those challenges together, what's to say we can't work well together uh, you know, in, in, in a strategic perspective yeah. as well. The seven here that we just talked about, Daenerys, Elaine, Homer, Larry, David, Leslie, Nope, Lucy, and Oscar Garth, they are now a very strong alliance. So look for this seven to stick together against the three, which I believe the three are right now is Walter White, it is Omar, and who's the other person who's not? Marshall Brady. Yeah. So basically... Definitely, to, definitely the ninja. It's a little ninja. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like that the new Mike Blue tribe is picking off people that were on the swap to a Rob tribe at this point. So it looks like Walter White, Omar, and Marsha Brady on the hot seat heading into this next vote. I'll okay. add more. Uh, Walter White might be a good night to play his idol. He's, he does have a tendency to just sort of throw the idol willy-nilly like a nice little uh, exploding capsule. Okay. All right. Let's get to the votes here. Keith, any thoughts on who it could be tonight? Yeah, I, th I think Walter White is probably on the chopping block. And if he, and if he, first of all, we could, at the seven could, could and I say we, because all three of my guys left are on the, uh, are, are on the, in the seven, could really split the votes and still come out ahead here. So I think uh, Walter White is in main. Oh, charge. interesting. A vote, a vote mm -hmm. split. They could really uh, outfox Walter White. I don't know if Brand Steel does a lot of vote splits, but we have, a, we have more than double the majority. So I think we're, we're pretty set here. Okay. All right, Walter White did not play the item. We'll see if it comes back to cost him. First vote, Daenerys Targaryen. Ooh. Second vote, Daenerys Targaryen. They don't know that she has the idol. <laughs> yeah. Homer Simpson. Two votes Daenerys, one vote Homer. Daenerys Targaryen. That's three oh, votes for Daenerys. Oh, man. Four votes for Daenerys. Well, Are we going to see Tower of Terror Fire and Oxy Clay? the strongest alliance ever. Well, she yeah, didn't vote with him last time, though. Uh, four yeah, votes true. Daenerys, two votes Homer. Daenerys Targaryen. Homer is basically gone Daenerys at this point. Daenerys Targaryen, the tribe has spoken. Wow. One Daenerys of shows of all time. plays the special idol and it's from the fire. <laughs> she is reborn. Oh. Uh, Dracaris, Homer Simpson. Dracaris. <laughs> And Homer Simpson is voted out. I can't oh, imagine oh. what the Facebook, the Survivor Facebook page looks like after Homer's voted out with two votes against the. Let's say that like Homer is probably a casual favorite, right? He's a loving father. Oh, the casuals love Homer Simpson. He's, a, he's like a Midwestern guy, even though we don't know which. He's a blue collar man. He's worked so many jobs in his lifetime. Yes, yes. Khaleesi. <laughs> Slay. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Daenerys is gonna say, My name is Daenerys Targaryen, and I just idled out Homer Simpson from <laughs> This is Insider Presents to your top TV character. What happened? What happened here? Daenerys was with the seven. They realized, though, that she was uh, a tricky one. Daenerys so the voted yeah, for Homer. Who, 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 yeah, who voted with Daenerys against Homer is the question. Because it looks like everyone else in the tribe, no matter what the alliance, came together to vote Leslie against Leslie Nope, her old <laughs> friend from oh, the original yeah. Rob tribe, also voted for you Homer. the hinky vote from <laughs> Leslie Nope, even. Mm -hmm. But everybody voted for Daenerys, and only <laughs> the witches, Leslie <laughs> and Daenerys, they knocked out Homer Simpson. Kind of a waste of the uh, title very on no one else knew. Daenerys did not tell anybody about no. this idol. So. I just can't believe we actually saw a successful use of the god idol in a yeah. fictional Survivor season. Yeah, yeah, look, you know what? I think this is a case that happened in there, because this was exciting. <laughs> yeah, this would have been an amazing travel council. Because Homer <laughs> Simpson thinks he's safe, he's like, the close, and then this happens, and then a big major yeah. doe. One of the great doughs of all time. And, and then so the rule it. should be you're not allowed to say you have the Tyler Perry on it because it makes people not vote for you, but then this was a great moment yeah. uh, that, that she got voted out and was like, uh, I think again. I, I concur. I mean, it was a real Miranese nod not as to, like, if you told them, then, like, they wouldn't, they wouldn't vote for her. She really wanted she to, like, get it. them for She misplayed it. I mean, huh. especially on Homer. Like, I do not think he was the kingpin compared to his bald brethren. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Homer Simpson, uh, a quiet run. He is out. He joins Don Draper. Is that, is that, is that why he didn't get a good edit? Is it because the producers didn't want us like sympathizing with someone who gets idled out effectively? <laughs> Maybe. Turn us, turn us against the fire. We're down to the final nine here. 
Okay, uh, so Leslie Nope and Daenerys have the uh, tight alliance. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if, I guess that this alliance of nine strength uh, still includes Daenerys Targaryen somehow. <laughs> it's not a ten, so I guess that's the thing. But yeah, the, guess the question is, like, do they, are they in, so intimidated by Daenerys now that now they, like, supplicate to her? They call her Misa, oh. and now she's, like, <laughs> Misa. the leader of the alliance, or... Do they instead decide to like gun for this power duo once again? It's sort of like the three amigos. We're like <laughs> nine lines are up now. Okay. All right. Let's go to the reward challenge. And so Daenerys, Larry, David, and Omar are going to the Survivor <laughs> Spa. Wow, that is a true <laughs> HBO special. Also. <laughs> Oh my HBO god! Characters right there going on. Uh... I cannot think of a better comedy. Maybe if you include Oscar the Grouch in there. I cannot think of a better group of people to go to the Beyond this fan fiction, <laughs> there is Larry David and Omar. <laughs> All right, let's go to our immunity challenge. Immunity, Larry David. <laughs> the challenge was uh, Jeff revealed a cycle of colored tiles to the castaways. Once the cycle is complete, the castaways would recite the pattern back. So in the memory challenge, Larry David wins immunity. Did Spencer win this in real life? I think Tasha did. Tasha won it, okay. Good memory, Mike. Good job. You're, yeah. you're real Larry David. Yeah, so I'm just like Larry David is to colors. Yes, okay. Larry David cannot be voted out tonight. And so let's go <laughs> back to the beach. And so uh, we see that Walter White <sighs> has the idol. No movement in the alliances. So, Mike... Are we likely to see, now that Daenerys has played her Tyler Perry idol, that the mm -hmm. same thing happens again where Daenerys, with nowhere to run, is uh, ultimately cornered by mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Akivas and Mike? You would think so. I could also see them going for Leslie. Nope, not only has she won an individual immunity before, but if they fear that Daenerys has found yet another trick up her sleeve, uh, then Leslie would be the, the safer option. Uh, sort of like what they did with getting Lisa Turtle to play her idol, then voting out Phoebe back during the premiere. All right, let's get to the votes. Okay, so everybody votes. Walter White does not play his idol here at the final night. First vote, Leslie Nope. Leslie. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Leslie, no. That's three votes for Leslie, no. <sighs> Leslie. Wow. Wow. Are the producers going to go nuts and give five votes in a row to somebody? That's four votes, Leslie. One vote, Daenerys. Leslie, no. The oh tribe boy. has spoken. Even Daenerys that. piled on and put her vote on Leslie, no. Ultimate betrayal. Wow. I mean, I guess it was another thing where they said, like, look, you two are on the bottom. One of you is going, so you have to turn on each yeah. other. And you know when it comes down to these two, Daenerys is much more of a shrewd person than Leslie Nope is, and it's willing to turn no matter what. Yes, and so Leslie is headed back to Pawnee after uh, this vote. Ponderosa. <laughs> Ponderosa. <laughs> so everybody, everybody put in their votes for uh, Leslie. Uh, our 8 1 vote at the final nine. Okay. All right. Now to the final eight. We're moving along here uh, with the uh, life after the merge. Uh, let's talk about where we're at. Uh, let's see. Uh, any major alliances? Uh, we're still talking about that new Mike Bloom tribe <laughs> alliance with a level nine. Let's talk about the reward mm -hmm. challenge. Uh, check out this reward. Uh, the group of Omar, Daenerys, Marsha Brady, and Oscar the Grouch they are going to go to a cave and have a barbecue lunch and get letters from home. Huh. How many letters does Oscar the Grouch need? <laughs> uh, maybe he just got maybe maybe he got ones that were thrown in the trash. <laughs> All right, we just who's who's sending Daenerys her letter and who's sending Marsha Brady her letter? Mm, I think, uh, I think uh, her Daenerys' writers are saying, or maybe uh, Dario might be sending her, or or Jorah Mormont can be <laughs> updating her on the whole uh, grayscale front. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what she wants to worry about on, on Survivor. <laughs> Who's Omar getting a letter from? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. I mean, it could be his lover before his lover got killed. <laughs> yeah. uh, Spoiler alert! At one point. Yeah, could, come on. Could be from uh, the wire. Could be uh, Avon Barksdale just sending, like, a coded message. <laughs> could be. Could be. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go to Immunity Challenge. Jan Oscar Brady. the Grouch has won immunity. He wins the uh, hard to handle. Castaways must stand on an angled balance beam <laughs> while balancing a ball at it's regular very intervals. Easy if you're in a garbage can. They move further <laughs> down the beam, making it harder to keep steady. I think there's probably a lot of discussion going on the Survivor subreddit this week as to, like, what advantage is a man in a can during <laughs> sure. a lot of these community challenges? Yeah, people are not happy with production. All right. I also think, uh, at this point, you got to get Oscar out next time he loses immunity, or else he's just going to skate to the end. you got to. He's going to roll All to right. the end. 
Things are, are not looking so mm -hmm. hot for Daenerys. Uh, let's see if anything changes on the beach. Okay, we have a big fight between Omar and Lucy Ricardo. This changed things up, Keith. First of all, I would like to see this fight. I think this would have been a fun one. Oh, Omar's still sure. waving his gun around in these pictures also. Yeah, Lucy did not like uh, Omar whistling the farmer and the Dell because Lucy was trying to sing on her own. Uh, sweet Adeline, much to her own, like, screeching voice. It's probably uncomfortable for Lucy. Like, she famously even did not sleep in the same bed as her husband, and now she's got, like, nine people snuggled up on her in a small shelter. Probably really not in her element. <laughs> all right. We are down to our final eight. Let's see uh, what happens here. I, I mean, uh, this is barring a miracle, Daenerys Targaryen. Unless the seven is going to start to eat itself, maybe that Omar and Lucy Ricardo fight ends up looming large. Let's get to the votes. Walter White is playing his idol tonight, Mike. Ooh, for himself. interesting. For himself. Uh, do you think that Walter White has reason to be worried tonight? I mean, he likes to know when there are hits out on him. Sometimes they turn out to be completely erroneous, and he overblows the situation. Uh, this could be another jail situation that might just completely have, uh, you know, a spiral uh. down into, into something much worse for him. Okay. Mm -hmm. First of all, Walter White does oh, not he count. He sensed sense something. He sensed, wow. he sensed the danger. He was the danger. <laughs> okay. Second vote, Walter wow. White does not wow. count. There was going to be a coup. Point. Walter White does not count. Sussed out a blindside coming. I Walter White. This week is the live know it all that we're watching. Yes. So. Mike Bloom yes. is like staring, staring at the screen right now. Right now. Uh, yeah. It does not count. No votes yet. <laughs> Walter White does not count. He would have gone out. Oh, no. What? If this is, uh, if it, I mean, Oscar's got, uh, he's the only person who... Yeah, but he, he, he has all the power. He could throw a vote just like... Hey, but yeah, the question is, could be, yeah. Lucy Ricardo could go Who here. did Walter White put his vote I'm on? I'm going to guess <laughs> Elaine Bennis, who's been very quiet recently. Okay. Daenerys Targaryen. Yeah. Oh, Daenerys smart. Targaryen, the tribe, has spoken. Wow. Okay, so Daenerys, looks like since she got something going, she got the miracle that she needed. She just picked the wrong target. Uh, let's see how it all uh, went down. So Daenerys got Elaine Bennis, she got Larry David, she got Lucy, uh -huh. she got uh, wow. she got a, uh, a couple of she got a, uh, a an Akiva, uh -huh. um, a Mike, Marsha Brady voted uh -huh. with Walter White, and so uh -huh. did Omar. So the Marsha Brady, Omar, and Walter White alliance they stuck together from the new from the swapped uh -huh. Rob tribe. Take the final original Rob member out of the season, uh, the Rob Goddess, and she is now out. Uh, Oscar the Ground. No Robs left. I believe that's uh, that, that's so it. Five mics, so so four mics, and three Akivas remain. Yeah, it was a total wipeout for. Uh, yeah, you, you, you basically were like akin to the beauty tribe who all got taken out during the post marriage. Yeah, we'll give you our PayPal. You'll, we'll tell you where to go. Okay. All right, Venmo that grant. So we're here at the final seven, and you know. Uh, had that big uh, new Mike Bloom tribe, and uh, Daenerys, uh, she was working with them, but they were able to, the alliance of Omar and Walter White and Marsha Brady, they need an alliance, Akiva, what do, what do you want to call them? The Omar, which alliance? They Omar, Walter White, White, and Marsha Brady. Okay, what uh, is the, the, the M.O.W.s. The M.O.W.s. <laughs> I do like that Walter, Omar, and Marsha have been together the whole time, the entire game, and Elaine, Larry, and Oscar have been together, and Lucy has been with um, all of them at various points. Yeah, yeah, and she was the she was the one who jumped ship on her fellow Mike Lucy Williams. could become a major swing vote here also. Big ah, swing vote in Final me. 7, potentially, potentially. So let's yeah, take a look. Or, or, they, or, they, the the, or they can come together and say, she's too much trouble, we don't know where her vote lies, let's get rid of her. Yeah, she right. could be the fourth place queen also. Let's talk about where the alliances are at this point. Uh, Lucy Ricardo and Walter White have something. Uh, the M O W Which surprises me because she voted for him last uh, time. It's not a strong alliance. <laughs> the M-O-W alliance, uh, they are at level 4 currently. Elaine and Oscar the Grouch are at level 4 currently. Uh, what is the... Uh, the uh, uh, the former uh, Akiva tribe members of Elaine, oh, Larry David, and Oscar the Grouch Akiva. What do you want to call them? Uh, Seinfeld and Sesame, I call them. Seinfeld and Sesame? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then the original Mike Bloom tribe. Uh, and then this, uh, the 
swapped Mike Bloom tribe of Elaine, Larry David, Lucy, and Oscar the Grouch are still yeah. pulling at so a my nine three. Straight. The strongest alliance huh. is my three with Lucy. If we could mm. flip Lucy, we win the game. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see what happens. There's no, there's no idols left, right? All right. We have the auction. Uh, there might be another one that's hidden. There might be a hidden, but nobody has one. Yes. Yeah. All right, uh, we had the auction, uh, no news here. Okay, let's go to immunity challenge. And Marsha, Marsha, Marsha wins the immunity challenge. I think that's who, she was in real danger of going home. So I think uh, this is a very smart immunity. Mm -hmm. okay. All time. So now, it's, now we're looking at Omar or a Walter White. But unless Walter can pull something out, a Daenerys-like rise from the ashes. Well, Otherwise, Lucy might not flip huh. also. Okay. Lucy, it's that's possible votes with, your, with her original tribe. Let's go to I'm, the By beach. the way, I've, I'm more invested in this right now, I'm not just because I have a $1,000 online, <laughs> uh, than um, a real Survivor season. And, uh, like right now, I'm like legitimately sweating. <laughs> All right, Kiva, it's mm -hmm. good news that Elaine yes. and Lucy Ricardo have bonded yes. slightly. Girl that's talk. That's all I need. It sounds unimportant, but that's all I need. If Elaine could get Lucy to feel like she is really in the, not just in the core four, but in the core two. Yeah. And that Elaine is not going to take LD to the end, who she just absolutely slaughter in the final <laughs> two. I think we can do this. All right. And does she does she deem Lucy sponge worthy? <laughs> I, th I think I think she's well, I don't, I don't, sure. That's the right. Uh, could she spare a square of parchment for a <laughs> lamp? <laughs> that's pretty good. That's probably that. Okay. All right. Let's go to tribal council. Let's see. Does Lucy Ricardo end up voting with the Akivas here oh, man. against Walter White right and Omar? Huge tribal Let's council. Rocks <sighs> coming up soon. At the final vote. seven. Here we go. First vote. Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> No, 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 oh, yeah. do You're it. right, Akiva. They have to, you have to gun for him. He's a challenge. I know. But I Elaine don't know. Bennis. What? What? Ooh. Who's splitting these votes? <laughs> Elaine Bennis. That's two votes Six for Elaine, sense. one vote Oscar. Oscar the Grouch. That's two votes Elaine. Why is everyone just voting for the Akiva? That's two votes <laughs> Oscar. Why? why? I'll be Oscar the Grouch. Elaine Bennis. That's oh. three votes Elaine, three votes Oscar, one Six vote left. Sense. Oscar the Grouch, the tribe wow. has spoken. Oh, he was my winner pick. Come on. <laughs> Oscar wow. played it the whole season. I don't even... They, they, they heated your words, Akiva. Like, no. Final Seven is much too soon to let someone, oh, no. you know... This is a good win win strategically, but I really want to see Oscar the Grouch win this game. Okay. Is it possible? Did, did Lu Where did Lucy vote? Where did Lucy hey, this vote? This is the whole thing sense. Oscar and Elaine were like rock and solid. Why'd they vote against each other? I don't know. Yeah, could it be? Maybe could it be like a gender split, maybe? maybe uh, let's see. Let's for see Elaine what happened here. So Elaine and Larry David, uh, they voted against their Seinfeld and Sesame uh, compatriot, mm. Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> and uh, mm. Lucy... Lucille Ball, uh, Lucy Ricardo, did vote for Oscar the Grouch. She was vote number three. Now, where is vote number four for Oscar the Grouch coming from? Is it Marsha Brady? Could be Marsha, could be, or it could be Omar or Walter White. We're not entirely sure. They had the majority and decided to vote out their own alliance member <laughs> instead. <laughs> Marsha Brady voted for Elaine. Omar yeah. voted for Elaine. Yeah. Walter Oscar, White? Or the Grouch voted for Elaine, and Walter White <laughs> voted out what Oscar the Grouch. What are you doing, Walter? Okay. So, wow. That's a good move by Walter mm -hmm. White. He's just waiting for So, this is really interesting. Okay. This is really interesting. No, so, it's insane. This is like, <laughs> here, here, here. Whoever is the winner here, other than Walter White, is a below average winner. I'm telling you right now. Okay. Alan Stone is going to be wrecking these people. <laughs> so, Walter White flips against Omar and Marsha Brady to yeah. vote out Elaine. So, I guess the, the power. Like we thought, they thought the power duo of Larry, of um, of Oscar and Elaine would like go over to the uh, the, the, the MOW alliance. Mm -hmm. But Walter White felt like he got a better deal. Now, since Walter White does sort of take something from the people that he kills, is that he's going to be like walking around with a trash can lit from now on? In the <laughs> Yeah, do, do they get to keep his trash can to keep themselves warm? Yeah, it's it's really interesting because I, I wonder if maybe the Mike Blooms uh, flip Oscar the Grouch against Elaine. Yeah, and then that set up a chain reaction yeah. where then they not only uh, you know, officially flip Lucy Ricardo. I, I think here's what happened. So Lucy Ricardo flipped over, and then Oscar the Grouch was like, "Well, f this, I don't like Lucy." Yeah. Uh, he flipped back over. To the Mike Bloom side, and then Walter White was like, "Well, I don't want to work with Oscar the Grouch." Triple flip. <laughs> yeah. Triple like, flip. By the way, a poorly I, edited by Brand Steele episode because we should have seen some of this coming. Yeah, all these votes we had, we we totally thought. I will also say, uh, Walter White slowly becoming the chaos cast of this season. All the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I would say right now he's going to get a, like he's going to get crushed in a final. Ooh, but I would get him out now. Just Player of the season, maybe so far. 
Yeah. All right. So Lane Dennis and Larry David huh. still are there, original Akiva Tribe members. Mm -hmm. uh, so is Lucy Ricardo, Marsha Brady mm -hmm. flying under the radar, Omar, and Walter White at the final uh, six here in Survivor. This is Insider <laughs> TV top 50 characters of all time. We're not giving them the plug in the actual title on iTunes. <laughs> Gotta come up with something better. All right. Here are the alliances. Lucy Ricardo and Walter White, they voted together against Oscar the Grouch, the last tribal council. The M.O.W. alliance is still formed here technically <laughs> with a level four. Uh, <sighs> the Grouches, uh, Elaine and Flash <laughs> David, they voted against Oscar. Did, did they name their alliance after posthumously now they lost Oscar? The no, I guess they're just Seinfeld. The they're Seinfeld. Uh, no more Seinfeld than Sesame. And then, we need Nick Wilson on the line for the next one of these. That we get. And then, uh, the original uh, Mike the Bloom tribe uh, of four is there. And then, the new Mike Bloom, the SWAT yeah, Mike Bloom tribe. Why be nine straight? These people all keep taking each other out. Yeah. I, I'd say anything below 10 is an irrelevant alliance at this point. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go to the reward challenge. And we see that uh, Lucy... Walter White and Marsha Brady win a reward. They get to bring school supplies to kids along with hamburgers and hot dogs. What? I think it was just like Woo Spencer and... Okay. Uh, but I can't if Walter White was giving like chemistry supplies there. <laughs> Watch out, kids. <laughs> All right. I think they're the basketball tricks. No, oh, I, I, I think it was Marsha Brady. Marsha Brady did the football yeah, okay. tricks. All right. Walter White has won immunity. Ah, Walter White. This might be his, like, time to shine yeah. now. That was I, all the big dogs. Everyone that take knew. I, I, like, the edit was like, mm -hmm. oh, everyone was just talking about how we're getting Walter White out of uh. this episode. And then it's like, okay, it's the virgin because he won. Now yeah. we got to actually, like, find someone <laughs> was, else. Which I'm surprised that Larry David's good at memory. You think he'd be good at counting. <laughs> yeah. He was feeling uh, the heat from, uh, you know, four though. seasons of Better Call Saul. So he has to, he's rejuvenated by the talks of a Breaking Bad movie. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go yeah, back to the beach. You cannot vote out Walter White. A huge immunity <laughs> win for Walter White, who uh, very well could have been on the chopping block at this vote. All right, back at the beach. Marsha, Brady, Lucy Ricardo bond slightly. <laughs> Mike, what did they bond over? Probably uh, times aren't what they used to be. Yeah, the two oldest have... shows left on the cast, <laughs> for sure. Maybe I think the what's with all, the, what's with all this vulgarity, <laughs> all the racist thing that we did was, you know... Uh, mm -hmm. Saying words like butt and heck that were so incendiary back then. This is nothing nowadays. Okay. Uh, so they, they, those were the days, to quote a person who got left off of the, the chopping block. All right, tribal council, here we go. At the final six, no idols in play, I don't believe, at this tribal council. First vote, Marsha Brady. <laughs> Lucy. Oh, the two people that bonded. Yeah, <laughs> well, they were literally voting against each other. Marsha Brady, that's two votes, Marsha, one vote, Lucy. Will we see a Marsha, Marsha, Marsha? Lucy, <laughs> what? Marsha or Lucy could be going home. Uh, could be going to Lane, <laughs> what? Dennis, what? what? Are we going Three to Three-way tie, three-way tie, three-way tie. Marsha, no. Brady, wow. The 3-2-1. Three, three, yeah. Marsha, Lucy, Brady, Lane, Dennis, Lane, Dennis, how did this all come together? Oh, man. Elaine Dennis voted for Marsha, so did Larry <laughs> David. So Seinfeld <laughs> voted against Marsha Brady. Uh, Lucille, <laughs> Lucy, Lucy Ricardo, she was bonding, they voted together. she was yeah. bonding with Marsha Brady, and then I'm she not. voted against her, <laughs> uh, but Marsha Brady voted for Lucy, <sighs> so did Omar, oh, Walter White, what's Walter White cast doing? the rogue vote for <laughs> yeah. Elaine mm -hmm. Venice. You think he admits to the rogue vote? Mm, hanky vote. I think everybody kind <laughs> of knows where they stand. No, right? he blames it on he blames it on Gus Frank. Yeah. Can we talk about something for a second? Yeah, Lucy Ricardo is playing a hell of a game. I feel like she has some real winner potential with five people left. Like uh, we have to start she just, She's jumping around yeah. everywhere. She's, Nobody, she's playing she... an absolutely wild chicken without the head. Like almost Tony, if he didn't have uh, the, the God Idol. Like, I, I think this is this is uh, Lucy better. is a great player. She's, all right. she's like an old school Kim Spradler. Mm. <coughs> Here we go. Final five is Elaine Bennis and Larry David, Akiva's top two picks, I believe. Uh, and then Lucy Ricardo, Omar, uh, and Mr. Two, Walter two, three, White. So, uh, some 
real, uh, a, a real uh, who's who here at the Final Five. Yeah, there's no everyone left. Everyone here is an iconic, like legendary television character. All right, who plays himself on a HBO comedy. <laughs> All right, uh, Alliance time. Uh, Lucy and Walter White, uh, Omar and Walter and Walter White. Uh, boy, the Omar and uh, Walter White. Uh, you know, name me a more iconic pair. I'll wait. Yeah, for sure. And you think? Yeah, you thought it would have come to a head a million years ago, and they're still going strong. Okay. You know, you know, I, mean, I, I, I think basically, I thought it's going to happen to Omar and Walter White. Happened to Don Draper and Tony Soprano. <laughs> yeah. Like battles, the battles of the peak TV anti heroes. Yeah. Uh, Omar and Walter White, are they a day one alliance, Mike? Pretty sure they are. Like the new Jake Dean Stevens. <laughs> he's just a science teacher from, from New Mexico, and he's a yeah. street thug from Baltimore. Is that the, 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 you know, kind of uh, like pairing that Walter White seeks out, where he's sort of looking like for a street tough? Yeah, I know to cook. <laughs> you know how to use a gun. <laughs> Alright, so I found the lines still going strong. And then uh, the original Mike Bloom tribe of uh, Lucy, Omar, and Walter White. And uh, man, Lucy is the look at this uh, at the fi- at the final five here. Yeah. There's a there's a uh, the two person alliance with Omar and Walter White, they've got a final three with Lucy, and then the Seinfeld people with Elaine and Larry David, they have a final three with Lucy Ramon. Yeah. Could they Amazing. get a middle person and, and have an Omar and Walter versus the Seinfelders in the final four? Mm, boy. And this is all going to come down to what does Lucy Ricardo want to do tonight? Yeah. Does she want to be in the show in the final five with you know, these two or these two? Okay. Hey, David, can I have a. We still have a. Uh, you know, a family's coming after this episode. Oh, yeah. yeah, after all those letters. So far. Right. Larry <laughs> David wins War Challenge, the mud run. He covered himself up in the most mud. <laughs> And he got a pizza. I'm surprised I even want to do that. I think he had a problem with mud. Um, and listen to this. Uh-huh. He got to pick one person to go with him oh, on the pizza so reward. smooth by LD. And he picks Lucy. <laughs> yeah, what a smart move. There's no choice. You have to pick Lucy. Now, do you think Elaine, you get the confessional from Elaine saying, I really wish he had, he had picked me. I know, like, it's strategically smart, but I wanted that pizza. Yeah, she's like, he could yeah. have picked me. It wouldn't kill him to pick me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Because everybody loves Lucy. Okay. Uh, let's go to the immunity challenge. And Omar has won immunity here. So Omar cannot be voted out tonight. Uh, Walter White, I think the bell is starting to toll for the... Yeah. Okay. It's, it's not two ghosts. Okay. <laughs> All right. No. All right. Hector that ten times. Okay. All right. Let's go to our... Uh, Back to the beach. Back to the beach. Nothing happened. All right. No idol, which means there's no idol in the game anymore. So it's all going to come down to what does Lucy Ricardo want to do? Larry David plied her with pizza. A pizza conveyor belt going into her mouth. All right. Bill. Hey, everyone's on the chopping block. All four people who don't have ah. anything to go home right now. I don't know. I feel like nobody's coming for Larry. Maybe they realize that Larry has potential, yeah. but like I think, I think that he's reasonably safe. But I can see Elaine, Lucy, or Walter going at this point. Yeah, All right. remember Elaine might be mad about this reward challenge. We don't know. Let's go ahead and get to the votes here at the final five. First vote: Walter White, as yeah. expected. Mm-hmm. We get at least a vote. Lucy Ricardo. Oh boy. Whoa. Walter White. That's two votes. Walter. One vote. Lucy. Lucy Ricardo, that's oh, no. two votes Walter. This is, gonna, this is one of the most successful moments uh-huh. in the history. Two votes really Lucy, one uh-huh. vote left. Who could it be? Walter White, the tribe of Spawn. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, I mean, he, he was dodging the crosshairs for such a long amount of time, but finally they gunned him down yeah. and he's lying bleeding. <laughs> yeah, I think Omar and Walter White went to Larry David oh. and to Elaine and said, hey, why don't we just get this uh, Lucy Ricardo out of the way? She's a flip-flopper. She's playing both sides. Uh, but Lucy <laughs> ends up uh, sticking with the Seinfeld mm-hmm. alliance and both uh, Walter White at the final five. Wow, he, just, he misses out on his family visit. What, what does son- Lucy think? <laughs> I mean, I guess that she could flip back to Omar uh. in the final four. But does Lucy really no, think that she's splitting I, up Elaine and LD? Hmm. Like, this was her chance, I think, to get out LD. Hey, don't, and don't forget, I don't uh, this season is a final two. Uh, yeah, I'm, but I think Lucy 
could worm her way into the final three and legitimately, if she loses that immunity, make the pitch of like, look, we have to fight this out like warriors, True. Elaine. Nobody wants to go to the finals with Larry David. Like, yeah. we need Everyone's to be mad at me. I flip-flopped all game. Take me <laughs> and you'll win. But then she smokes her. <sighs> Right, like, I'm happens? totally with you, Gekiba. I think she's she's playing by far the, one of the best simulated Survivor games. No, I've ever seen. Wow. Are we wow. going to have, like, a, a champion edition <laughs> once of, like, all the winners from all the fans? <laughs> yeah, I think we need to do that. <laughs> all right, we'll, 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 we'll hold that thought. We'll hold that Joe, thought. Joe, I mean, you're... Know, way, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll email you some Joe Flacco jokes. Yeah. You won the <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got to get through yeah. 16 of them, and then we'll have all the winners yeah. come back. All right. Then, here we are, the final four. Is it possible, now, is Lucy going to flip to work with Omar, Mike? Do you see yeah, that? Is that a possibility? The big yeah. possibility. No, I don't think so. I think she's, like, fully on board with Elena Larry, especially since Omar voted against her. Like, I, don't, I just don't think she would have the... I think she's in square with these two. I think Omar needs to win this uh, game right now. Unless he's <laughs> able to convince Larry to, 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 you know, DV. But I feel like Lucy's in thick with Elena. Mm, okay. Um... <laughs> Let's go to our alliances. I felt alliance is a thing. Uh, Omar and Lucy have a level five alliance, and then final three deal: Elaine, Larry David, and Lucy. Let's go to immunity. Larry David wins his second immunity now for real, and now he goes up there. He stands with a uh, with a this is the fill up the buckets of water, and he completes the puzzle, much like Chaos Cats did. He wins immunity at the final four. Uh, did they skip the family visit? No, I guess that was just... No, the, the, the family members the came... Yeah, they just yeah, came they to watch. watch. <laughs> because who so do you think... So who is Larry Mr. Was... loved one because he's divorced from Cheryl? Or is this before he's divorced from Cheryl? No, it's, it's gotta be Leon, right? Yeah, yeah. Leon is a great... I mean, that's TV gold. That's, they flew them out there like, oh, we need Leon. But then... While Leon's, like, snacking on craft services. Does Elaine get charity? Or does Elaine get putty? Mm, who would come? Who would... <laughs> well, do you think Putty, and Putty came when he paints himself? Mm. Uh, to, since he's so into like the, well, the dry colors or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a long ride out to Kagiyan. Was that Samoa? Yeah, and then and then uh, it was George Mann if, late, if, if Gary gets the call. Like, oh, you always get to be the family visit guy. Mm -hmm. Never <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've never That's met. True. We don't meet Elaine's mom, so that would be exciting if we saw her. Her dad is yeah, hopefully not her dad. Her dad's a little yeah, bit. No, we don't see that. <laughs> All right, nice. let's go back to the beach and talk about what's going on here. Elaine's behavior is becoming appreciated around the camp. So Elaine first. <laughs> Yeah, it's not good. Uh, well, I mean, Elaine sport. was, uh, she had, since they had gotten bored and they had expended all their wardrobe <laughs> options, she's now come up with, like, the uh, urban buff mm. uh, to, to don at the J.P. Uh, yeah, the buff is, like, a little displaced, and, uh, you know, people maybe see a little bit more than they were supposed to. Yeah. Lisa Turtle had gotten this earlier in the season. Uh, I believe she was voted out at the following Tribal Council, so it doesn't go with that far here at the Final Four. Everybody has their eyes on the prize. Okay. Tribal Council at the Final Four. Here we go. First vote. Oh boy, they're uh, they're going to come for the Lucy. <laughs> Second vote. Is Elaine. Wow. <laughs> Elaine. No. What? 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 That's two Why? votes, Elaine. One vote, Lucy. Lucy, we have a tie. Yes! Unbelievable. Lucy flipped <laughs> wow. to vote with Omar. I, I presume. realize the air of her way is too late, but I, yeah. I get it. Mm. This one's playing a ridiculous this game! Ridiculous. She voted out Walter White to, oh, yeah. to then take his place, force this 2-2 two -two tie. Drink right. too much vitamin to Benjamin <laughs> out here. Okay, let's see, let's see how Brant Steele is going to handle this. <sighs> okay. All right, so room. Lucy and Elaine, okay? Uh, there will be a revote. We'll okay. have a revote okay. first. Okay, here is the. We can see if Larry, if Larry David or Omar switches their vote, and it's current for one of them. Okay. So only two people will vote. Only Larry David and Omar. Okay. First vote, Lucy. Lucy, oh, unbelievable! <laughs> wow, Omar, Omar, what are you Omar. Doing? Omar is not. Omar bad. says, "I got the last laugh." What, Omar? Why did you do that? <laughs> yeah, we're in it for him. You kind of feel like let them go to a uh, let them go to make a fire here. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah don't, don't don't tease them along. Though. At this point, uh, I mean, what do you have to lose? Um, but maybe he feels like that he can beat out uh, Larry David, and this is a big move. Or maybe he's mad from oh Omar is a vengeful guy. Maybe he's mad from the Walter White. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. He got he sort of was like 
He's on one uh, broken leg right now, strategically uh, speaking, but he's able to like hobble his way and, and you know get that last frame pulled uh, in the uh, chamber. Uh, before he's losing. Okay, let's see how these castaways vote. Maybe we get some insight. Okay, so we see that Larry and Elaine both <laughs> voted for Lucy, and then Lucy voted for Elaine, and then uh, that. Uh, he only switched to avoid a tie. So Omar yeah. seems to... Why, Omar? You weren't, you weren't in trouble. Yeah, yeah. He you seems to not this. have a clear understanding of the rules, Omar. But that's being very positive. Oh, so what, what a recruit. That's why we don't recruit people. Recruit people. Mm, yeah. All right. Elaine is a day one fan. All right. <laughs> Let's go to the final three. And Akiva. Yeah. Who could have thought that Elaine, Larry David, <laughs> and Omar would make up our final three? <laughs> no, nobody, nobody saw this coming. What an unlikely final three. Uh, let, let's, <laughs> yeah, let's talk about the alliance. And they really, in hindsight, like the only two people who really had this strong of a yeah, I wonder if I can. Lane and LD should have been split up. They should have been throwing tribals. <laughs> they should have been throwing them challenges pre-merge to, to split these two. This is insane. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll look back. You know how Elaine did on, <laughs> this, on the fake Big Brother season we did? I don't remember. I know Kramer won. <laughs> Sorry, spoiler alert. I think I think Elaine did well. I think Jerry and George went out early, and Elaine did well, like final four-ish. But all right, I'm not sure. We're going to the final two this season. Remember, mm -hmm. this is Kaki on, so we will yes. have one more immunity mm -hmm. challenge, and then the winner of the immunity challenge will pick who gets to sit next to them. Will somebody make as big of a uh, gaffe as Wu did once upon a time in the real <laughs> Mike Kaki yeah. jury? Right. So if mm -hmm. if Omar could somehow make his way to the final two. Yeah, really sitting pretty. Just to yeah, that's that's it's a steep hill. Just to talk this through, uh, you, can you rank these three in terms of uh, who has the best standing with the jury? I, I stand with Jury. Well, Omar, I just think from familiarity with the bonds. I think Elaine over LD. She seemed to be making bonds. People really appreciated her behavior around camp at the final four. He's a curmudgeon. Who can you imagine living with Larry for thirty nine days? It sounds yeah. Like you gotta bring bring Larry David to the final too. Yes. You everyone, Larry David is the goat here. Omar and Elaine are, are real life. You know, you know. Is that what Elaine was doing, Mike? Was she dragging Larry David to the final yes. two the whole time? <laughs> Completely. I mean, she was basically you know much like she dated guys to use them for certain things. She has been courting Larry David to use him as an easy opponent. You are just the kind of person that I want to go to the end. <laughs> Well, so LD is like a zillionaire. Elaine is a regular middle class person. Omar robs people for money. Uh, I feel like why would you why would you give Larry another million dollars? Okay, right. <sighs> and, and he'll be very salty in his final two <laughs> his speech. I think also. Yeah. yeah, I don't think he'll do well under the jury question. No, <laughs> no, way. no way. All right, let's go to the alliances on the beach. The only alliance in the game is the Seinfeld alliance between Elaine and Larry David. So the winner. Of the final immunity challenge here in Survivor, this is Insider TV Top 50, is Larry David. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> Larry David, he's won like three immunity challenges. He's won three challenges. immunities and, a, and an individual reward, I believe. <laughs> and now we have to start talking. Mm -hmm. Like, Larry has a real decision to make here. No. There's no reason to take a lane. She should be there. Whereas, like, Omar, you think, like, okay, Omar has more people on the jury who know him. Also, like, has, okay. really, has Omar really done enough in this game? Other I think, than sort of the stuff that he may lose either way. Game. Maybe take Elaine. Yeah. Who, who I think well, that, in fairness, I think Elaine has less big moves. <laughs> and I think you can also say, like, look anyone's mad at me for the decisions that I make, they have to be mad at Elaine as well, since we made all the same decisions yeah. together. Here's what it comes down to. I think Elaine's played the better social game. She's been appreciated by the people around the camp. She's made more bonds, where Omar has probably played the flashier strategic game. Made more enemies. I think you take Omar. But also the question is, who do you think is more likely to poison the jury against Larry? <laughs> <laughs> now, that it's, now that it's needed. <laughs> I'll let you. <laughs> You're just gonna get go back to uh, to Ponderosa, uh, open up the peach schnapps tonight, and then let all of Larry's secrets out of the vault. <laughs> well, did they get a day? Did Tony and Wu get a day, or did they go straight to the vote? Um, they, day, right? uh, they, 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 they had a day, so like you could argue that Cass had some input, but I agree. I think that that's another reason to get rid of Omar. Is Omar will probably be the least bitter juror. He'll just sort of like say, you know, that's the business, and then you know, saddle up his shotgun and whistle as he walks off. Okay. <laughs> Go back to the beach and see what's going on here. Nothing happening. No fights. Yeah, that's pretty typical of a survivor season. There's three people left. Nothing's happening. All right. All right. Let's say <laughs> let's say goodbye to Omar here. Uh -huh. 
and it is Omar. He gets one vote. Larry is taking Elaine to the end. And uh, how do you like this, Akiva? That yeah. maybe, maybe it was the sort of the the synergy of this is Robin Akiva Need a podcast that uh, somehow the unlikeliest yeah, final two ever. <laughs> Uh, Elaine, most likely. Uh, Elaine and Larry David have somehow navigated through a sea of TV, this is Insider TV's most iconic characters, to get to the final two. Yeah, a lot of legends have been slayed on the way here. Okay. Uh, Mike, is Omar due for an all-star appearance? Oh, absolutely. I think that, uh, if we're talking about like a second chances type of thing, you know, he, he is ready to say that, you know, the reason why he lost was... Well, I mean, the reason why he lost is because he didn't let Lucy Ricardo go to fire yeah, him. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, it, a Wu West decision. Major blunder. I mean, who knows if it was uh, Elaine versus Lucy and making a fire. I don't know if Elaine necessarily uh, has that skill set. Like... I also know Lucy, I'd say Lucy <laughs> Ricardo and Daenerys are, are also locks to return. <laughs> <laughs> and Walter White. Yeah. All right. Let's go to our final tribal council. Okay. <laughs> Uh, are we have <laughs> Elaine and Larry ready to face a jury? <laughs> I mean, Elaine has had problems facing a jury beforehand. That's true. It's going to come back to her. All right, Mike, if I hit, hit uh, proceed to the reunion show, is it going to give us the winner? No, it is going to say that. No, I think it's going to say that, like, the uh, the people vote. I think they'll, it'll say proceed to the final vote or something. Okay. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to see if I can make this where we see as little as, as possible right until we uh, go to the next step. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, proceed to the reunion show. Let's see what we got. All right, the final two, Lane and Larry David. Uh, uh, can, can we uh, just, uh, is there anything else that we haven't said about the games of this uh, respective pair, Elaine and Larry David? Uh, well, well, let's think about this. I mean, I don't know if we know, I know on hand who's on the jury, but who do we think is, like, locks either way? Okay. Uh, I mean, I think we know who's on the jury. Uh, I believe it was uh, Don Draper. Starting with, so they start with Don Draper. Uh, do we think that, I mean, neither one of them were on. He didn't really have interaction with either one of them pre murder It's a wild card. Uh, who went out after Don Draper? Was that Homer Simpson? Homer, Homer Simpson with his two votes. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, he was on track with both of them. He might respect the bald with Larry. <laughs> and then, then it was then, uh, Leslie No, who I don't know if she has any connection to either of them. I could see her voting for Elaine. Oscar, it's tricky because he was really in alliance with both of them, and then it just blew up. Hmm. I feel like no, I feel like Oscar would vote for Elaine because I didn't like her and him have like the closest. Like, yes, they had a they, we, the whole but way sort of died out at the end. Did she vote against Dang. him? Did she did. Oh yeah, they, they did. They did vote against him. That's true. Um, yeah, he might. What about? I feel like I feel like the uh, the Daenerys Leslie pairing is gonna is gonna bear a lot. Yeah, of Yeah, they may be pro woman on the jury though. Yeah, and Oscar, like, the Oscar and Larry are such curmudgeons. I feel like curmudgeon times curmudgeon. Yeah, but uh, Seinfeld and Sesame uh, turned on him, so. Yeah. Uh, but they both did, so that'll be interesting. Marsha Brady, uh, I bo- did Marsha Brady have a She's bond a with Elaine? Part. No. Yeah, Marsha Marcia had, had a bond with, she actually had a bond with Elaine. with Lucy, yeah. Oh, no, with, the, with, with Lucy, Lucy. Yeah, She's a wild card. She had very little interaction with Seinfeld and Sesame. And then we have Walter White, Lucy, and Omar. <laughs> I think they might respect Elaine more than Larry. Mm. It, Larry did win three immunity challenges. He did vote out Omar. He won that final uh, three tribal council. Let's see what the jury I mean, Is thought. there a way for Omar to sort of justify his vote if one of these results happens? Like, you say, like, oh, well, Elaine was going to win anyway, or... They, they always <laughs> find a way to justify it. True, true, true. Okay. I'd like to hear Omar's exit interview with Rob the next day. <laughs> well, we'll do a yeah, long form with Omar. I'll see if okay. he's available. Okay. And the winner in studio. Reveal. Oh my god, studio has gone and Nicole's downstairs letting him in. Okay, let's go to our winner reveal. <laughs> Woohoo! And the winner, what? by a vote of 9 <laughs> to 0, <laughs> Larry David! How did this happen? Wow. Can somebody, can somebody screenshot this. <laughs> Larry wins by a vote of nine to zero. Unbelievable. Uh, Akiva, should this be the Curb Your Enthusiasm series finale? I, honestly, if we could get, I, I'm gonna be very serious. I'm gonna, I, like, a hundred percent, like me, Rob, and Mike, just like writing a fan fiction season of Survivor where LD's just on Survivor the whole time. 
be better than whatever's in the right now. <laughs> Like half the guests. Uh, like, yeah. Finally. Seinfeld writers who were like, right. were like aware of us. <coughs> mm-hmm. you know, I don't know if we could like get this to them, and it might be too late. They've been filming for a while. This is gold, like for for LD to be on the show. That would actually be very, very funny of uh, somehow. <sighs> and, uh, Larry Hopefully. David, Keaton, uh, <laughs> did, did one of those like Ricky?